Hey guys, it's me. So, um, my husband purchased a new doll for me for Christmas and she was a secondhand doll and she came in today and I originally did an unboxing video but I was so disappointed in um, the way she came that I, I don't want to post that video. So I am going to post this new one. So first, first disappointment was that she came and this box was wrapped by the previous owner of the doll because she has a second hand doll. They had fragile written all over it, this side up, and the box top was just decimated. It was ripped open. I was afraid that stuff had fallen out of it or that the doll had been broken. Um, but she arrived in one piece. <laughs> and with all of her accessories, which she's not wearing, she's currently currently wearing one of my other dolls, Pepper the Elf, her clothes. Um, long story is that, and I will post pictures of the progression of what she came looking like, which she was beautiful. We saw pictures of her. Um, she's the facial, her face is absolutely stunning. I'll show that to you guys in a minute. Um, and that's primarily why we purchased her is because her face, or he purchased her for me. It was because her face, her face was just stunning. So, um, fast forward and I'm just gonna put her little glasses on uh, to give her some character here. She comes in, I open her up first thing I do is I see the box, it's a mess. I open her up and sigh of relief, she's all in one piece. And then I take a really good look at her. Um, whoever had made her uh, attached the wig to her head or created a wig that they made themselves onto her head and they glued it directly onto the head. I don't know what they used. They then dyed it um, a blue and so she was covered in blue dye. It was all down her neck, it was in her ears, all over her body. She was all over the clothes. Um, let's see if I can find some of the clothes, which I have taken it off because I'm going to wash it, but I don't know if you guys can see there, there's some blue um, on the fabric, and there's red paint on the fabric, and it's just everything, <laughs> the hair and her paint job on her body is not the best. So after we spoke to the seller, who was the person who is um, getting rid of her, her collection, I guess, um, she gave us a discount on the doll and reimbursed us some of the money that my husband spent on her. Um, and so at that point I decided, well, you know what, let me wash her hair and try to remove some of the blue dye so that it doesn't stain her body and her clothing anymore. When I started to wash her hair, the hair started to get gooey because of the glue that whoever made her used. And so after about three hours of carefully removing her hair, um, the wig cap that was glued onto her head and the massive amounts of glue that were attached to her scalp, her wig is now off her and I have managed to carefully remove all of the blue that was on her body without damaging her face, which is, again, was my, what I love about this doll. It's just her face is absolutely stunning. So, here she is. I haven't named her yet, and she is wearing her little, um, put her little, what, what do you call these, beanies? Um, because... She is completely bald <laughs> at this point until I get a wig for her. But here she is. This is, uh, well, the slippers were sent as an extra. These were not in the whole package, but the person sent, sent it to us at 
and I think they're adorable. So she's got her little slippers and then this is Pepper's outfit. And I will try to get her as close to the video as I can. Let me take her glasses off so you guys can see her face. But her face is just beautiful. She's got such a beautiful face. They did a wonderful job on her face. Um, when they changed her eyes, or they installed her eyes, it looks like the person had to cut her skull open, and they did a very poor job of that. So you can see here, and then, excuse me, then they glued it back on. So on top of all of the glue that was on there from the wig, um, there was now the glue around the head that I had to be careful not to remove so that that piece of her head doesn't fall off. Her slippers fell off. Anyway. So here we are. She's a new member of the household. <laughs> Once I get her clothes cleaned up, I did take a picture, a couple of pictures of her with the outfit that she arrived in. Um, I am probably gonna try to take and get rid of some of the shading the person did on her body. Um, as you can see, it's not a very good job, the shading. And I have one of those magic, magic erase um, things to try to get some of that off. But they did a beautiful job on her, on her face. So yeah, so that is, I, I am happy with her though. I am now. Now now that we've removed the wig and I know that she's not going to turn blue again and I don't have to worry about about that. I'm happy with her. I'm looking forward to us taking her out and taking pictures of her. I love the fact that um, as opposed to Lilith, my other doll, she looks more human um, and I love that about her. She's got more of a, a natural real features to her um which was another appeal for this doll for me so to my husband thank you you did a good job <laughs> of finding her and getting her to me and i love her and with a little tlc i'm sure she will be perfectly fine the good thing about it is that, that her body is in really good condition all of her ball joints are great you know she's got good range on her knees her she only has one uh, position on her waist and that is side to side so she doesn't tilt but that's fine um, I can live with that and the fact that she the ankles <laughs> but that's fine also she did come with, um, like I said, some accessories. She has the glasses. She's got these little shoes that were made for her that were really cute. Um, she's got a very nice, uh, let's go out and have a good time outfit. And then she's got a little school outfit um, with a button down shirt and stockings. And she's got her underwear and she has a little necktie. So like I said, I'm very happy with her overall. Um, and I'm very pleased with the person that sold her to us because she was willing to work with us and, and in the end I didn't have to return her, um, you know, and then have to search out another doll that looked like her for the price that we got her at because as many of you know of your collectors, these dolls are not cheap. They're really expensive and so um, we got a pretty good deal and the fact that she discounted for all the damage the doll had uh, makes her worth every penny. So that's it. I'm gonna add some pictures to the end of this so you guys can see what she looked like. I have to come up with a name. I'm gonna be ordering a wig from probably Amazon. Um, they have a couple of wigs that would fit her. I think that would fit her personality really good. She kind of has like a, a very kind of, I don't know techno type look to her in my opinion so that's that guys our new member of the household so until next time <laughs> i hope my next boxing is much better than this i'm actually supposed to be getting 
some clothes that I ordered off of Timu and a bunch of little shoes for um, our little bunny over there, uh, Bonnie. And I should be getting that at some point this weekend and I'll do an unboxing on that. So that is that with a little bit more uh, work. I'm trying to remove some of the red that's on her body and um, you know, a nice outfit. She'll be perfectly fine. So I just have to wash all of this stuff because it's all stained. Which, again, it was it was really disappointing when I opened it and like I said, I did the video and I just, I couldn't post it. So that's it guys. Until next time. Bye.